Right, so we're going to set up the barrel for uh, do some beef cheeks on it. So this is it. This is the fire basket. Got a gap underneath there for air circulation and to catch your ashes. And what fuel are we using today? Uh, we're using Cuba Marabou from Cuddlewood Fuels. So put a few of these fire lighters in. You open up the vents. These are air intake vents. There's no vent on the top. And We opened it full just to get that air intake, just to get it up to temperature, yeah? Yeah, so then uh, once it's once the fire establishes and it starts the flame burns down a bit, we'll put on the deflector plate, we'll put on the grate, we'll put on our pit thermometer and then throw it down the top, open up this vent and let it come up to temperature. And then you adjust your temperatures. I normally leave the top one wide open and you adjust your temperatures by closing these. Uh, cut some of the air, air going into it and it, it will um this part of the pack to be set and forget once you have it at what your desired temperature i'm going to go around 275 300 today and uh once you get it at your desired temperature it'll sit there for hours right so if you look in you see that the fire has calmed down so we'll get in a bit of white oak again from good wood fuels it's catching my boat and why are you picking white oak for this particular cook because i'm doing the beef cheeks Oak oh, goes amazing with beef cheeks, like all the big um, barbecue restaurants in uh, Texas and in Ireland all use oak with beef. So it's a natural, it's 100% natural, um, it's readily available in Ireland, everywhere. Um, so get them in, that will start to smoke away now. Don't we get the flick we're putting in? This will be a little squishy, it's going to get into it. What's the idea of the deflector plate in it? So you're not getting direct heat underneath the um, for, because the heat is coming from the bottom. So this kind of makes it a little bit less harsh on the on the underside of the meat you're cooking. So then you get in your top plate. Up on the probe tip. And close it down. That's it. That's how you set up a USB barrel, lads. I hope this is a good video. And any questions, hit myself or Midlands Barbecue up and we'd happy to answer them for you. Right, so if you look in, you see that the fire has calmed down. So we'll get in a bit of white oak. Again, for good wood fuels. Just my boat. And why are you picking white oak for this particular cook? Because I'm doing the beef cheeks. Oak, of course, amazing with beef cheeks. Like all the big um, barbecue restaurants in uh, Texas. And in Ireland, all use oak with beef. So it's a natural, it's 100% natural. Um, it's readily available in Ireland, everywhere. Um, so get them in, that will start to smoke away now. Don't we get the flick we're plate in? This will be a little squishy. It's going to get into it. So what's the idea of the deflector plate in it? It's, it's, so you're not getting direct heat underneath the. Um, because the heat is coming from the bottom, so this kind of makes it a little bit less harsh on the on the underside of the meat you're cooking. So then you get in your top plate, up on the probe tip, and you close it down. That's it. That's how you set up a USB barrel, lads. I hope this is a good video and any questions hit myself for Midlands Barbecue up and we'd happy to answer them for you.